Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today, I want to share with you another hobby. A few years ago, I returned to drawing comics or cartoons. My children had left home and I had time to pursue a hobby that I had when I was younger. Many of them had an SF slant to them. Today, I want to share with you a comic series that I created that has a lot of dad jokes. There are many puns and some sight gags. So as my friend Jules Burt would say, sit back, relax, and let's take a look at some existentialist. You can find my comic series, The Existentialist, at vintagesf.ca. In the side menu, you'll see a link to my current project, Vintage SF. I have them divided by year. Previous to that, I was working on a comic called The Between. It had Twilight Zone-like short stories. And today I want to talk to you about The Existentialist. If you click on The Existentialist, you'll come to a page that lists the 25 comics I created in this series. I'm going to give you some highlights. The first comic I created, I called Next. I combined photography with some cartoon drawing. As you can see in the bottom right corner, I had a website called CanadianCartoonist.com. That's actually the website that these are on right now. I just changed the URL to VintageSF.ca. I own both of those URLs. When visiting Amsterdam, I went to a coffee shop near the Vincent van Gogh Museum. It was called Blushing. I thought this takeout cup was so funny, I asked for a clean one to take home with me. A yawn is a silent scream for coffee. In this comic, titled Gotta Break a Few, I reference Star Wars. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think that line has been used in many TV shows and movies. Number nine I called Celery Stocks. Do you ever get the feeling someone's following you? In the 11th comic, no eggs were harmed in the making of it. I called it melancholy. Honey, do you love me? You know I do, but I just can't elope. Number 12 was an homage to a classic movie. I called it The Princess Fried. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I had it pointed out to me that I really should have had some chicken frying in that pan. So while it was an interesting idea, it wasn't well executed. Although that egg was well executed. Number 13 featured some existentialism. Are we free? Is there a chicken? Can we run? Number 15 harkens back to the dinosaurs. Extinct. I guess in some ways you could say that chickens are the dinosaurs of today. Number 16, the chicken or the egg. There is a chicken. There is no chicken. I'm agnostic. You might recognize the band that I'm referencing in this cartoon. I called it Kraken Black. I'm on the high way to shell. Or perhaps you'll recognize this comic book series. The Uncanny Eggsman with Dark Phoenix and Professor Xavier. I didn't have a pun for the slicing and dicing egg. And here's a science fiction themed one. I called it the extraterrestrial. This makes me very, very angry indeed. For number 22, I created a multimedia presentation. I called it Leaving. In the back, we have a sign, Egg Union. In the front, we have a disgruntled egg saying, I'm leaving. And the punchline, exit. That's one for my UK viewers. And let's finish with a bonus unpublished cartoon. I called it The Last of Us. People are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <sighs> Too soon. So there is a sample of some of my cartoons. If you're interested, I've just shown you some of the 25 cartoons for The Existentialist. I'll put a link in my description to the cartoons.
So until next time, Excelsior.